In this video, I will show you the difference between the 12 megapixel and the 48 megapixel photos that can be taken with the DJI Air 3. Ever since DJI decided to introduce the quad buyer technology, it has been an ongoing discussion what is the quality difference between 12 megapixel and 48 megapixel photos. Let's grab a few samples of each, which you of course can as always download from the TechDrone Media website, so you can do your own comparison. And this is high noon, so it's uh, really going to reveal all the flaws in the image, because there's a really, really high contrast between everything. Let's just use a combination of the forest here and the castle. Then let's just stop the, the drone here. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna switch it into photo mode. And we are just working with single photos uh, just for this experiment. So I go under the three dots in the upper right corner here, and then I make sure that everything is okay. I wanna make sure that you have both the JPEG and the RAW version, and that we are doing them in 4.3, so you get the maximum uh, yeah, sort of area of uh, the sensor when we take the photos. And right now, let's start by the 12 megapixel. So let's just put the castle here. Um, uh, yeah, let's put the castle here and the rule of third, like this. Then I will grab one image with the wide angle lens and then switch into the medium telephoto lens, like this. And then I would switch it up so I have the castle again here. And I will take another one. Then what we do next is that we jump into the 48 megapixel mode, like this. Go back, make sure the cross here is in the, the center of the castle. Take another one. And then we switch back into the wide angle lens and we take another one. So now you have four images that is taken uh, with two with each lens and uh, one in 12 megapixel and the other one in 48 megapixel. And I will make those available through a link in the description below so you can jump in and just make the assessment by yourself. And we're always doing the spherical one. So let's just for the sake of it, take the favorite option that I know and that is uh, the wide angle option where it, the drone actually stitches four nine individual images into a single one. Let's just do that. In this way, we can make the drone stitch a completely nice, hopefully seamless image uh, of um, yeah, the surroundings here. So the reason why I wanna do these wide angle uh, shots here is because I'm testing a piece of software, third party software that will allow you to stitch these images in a really, really cool and efficient way. And it, it's supposed to be able to stitch images of different exposure levels and everything. So um, I wanna make sure that I have some nice footage for you to look at uh, when we're gonna play around with that. I will be releasing a video with this shortly. As a little teaser, this software is actually capable of uh, doing a panorama image just by uh, feeding it with a video. So of course we need something to uh, play along with that one as well. So as I said, I will make sure that uh, at least the photos will be available along with some other clips recorded with the DJI Air 3 will be available on the TechDrone Media website where you can go and download them for free. Are there other things that you would like to know about the Air 3? Then let me know in the comments below. I've compiled a playlist with all the videos that I've made around this great drone that you will be able to access through this card. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.